Right then, here we are. The River Lynn. One of the combs just up from what's a place called Waters Meet. Um, the Russian streams. I'm walking through this lovely wood. And the first thing I want to do when I get back is try and get some chips and a can of Coke. Oh, I'm not really hungry, but... These beautiful trees. One and three quarter miles. If you you got two, if it's going to take you half an hour to do half a mile, Sheila, you're only just going to get back. Like I said, they might be not likely to meet people near a town and might just walk out a bit. Certainly had the place to myself. But look at that. I can make up a bit of it now. Like I said, there was quite a hike for a good, oh, I don't know, half an hour to an hour of me just marching to get a, get the foot down. And it's a good job I did because I'd still be way back there if I did my normal plod and videoing. I wouldn't be here now. It would be getting dodgy for me. I'd be way back if I, if I hadn't put my foot down. But I know now. And I want to do this route another time. But I think it's better coming down it. I think whoever goes that way, it's harder. I think so. It's more uphill. And the other route, where well, you've got two hills. Um, two really big hills. If you do it the coastal path the other way, you've got two massive hills. Um, but up, that's it. But it is up and down. And I might have to go up again yet. Just because I think I'm doing well. They don't allow bikers here. Because normally you get that, if it was Holford for example, you'd get a load of bikers now. Little rest in place by the river, look. For a picnic. Yeah, I think that water meat house is a National Trust place. I mean, she could have given me a spare cake. I've got cake. I'm only joking, Tree. I've got loads of cake. I've got cake I haven't touched. I've still got loads of cheese, tomato. Um, I've got a chocolate bar in my pocket waiting to be eaten. Um, enough water to get back now. I managed to top up and I brought three bottles out which was sensible. The worst thing to happen to anyone now, if they're doing this walk alone like me, was if they didn't have any water and they weren't drinking it. Because some people bring one bottle out, they wait until they're thirsty, they get really hot and then they have, they collapse. Your kidneys will pack up. You need water going through your kidneys to keep your heart moving, all that. It's chemistry. I've slowed up a bit now. There's a slight incline. I'll put on another spirit in a minute because it looks like we've got to walk right through this wood yet. No, I was, do you know, I even had a spirit of run one stage. A couple hundred yards, I did some running. Just to try and do some mileage. You see houses down there now. Someone was desperate, left a t shirt behind. Was it? Towel. Baby towel. Somebody's pram baby towel. Civilization. It's always nice when you 
do, if you are right out in the middle of nowhere and this houses start showing. It's the same at Holford. I tend to get try and get back no later than eight o'clock in the summer because it does start getting creepy even though I love the trees. Different things happen at night in woods. But this has been the day I've been planning what I've done today and like I say it doesn't matter if sometimes I'm showing a bit of anxiety, even anger, during walks, because that's normal. <sighs> I'm sorry, it is when you're on a big hike and things don't always go right. Uh, bad sign in posting, so you take wrong routes that delay you, use up valuable energy and water. <sighs> you know, wild goose chases that you don't need. Um, you're angry with yourself of your own stupid ability not to, or inability, to try and work out that it's further than you buddy think, girl. You aren't allowed for the ups and downs. It's not for me to be. I mean, look at that comb there. That goes somewhere else, that do. I've got a feeling I might be doing that one tomorrow from another angle. Now we've got a plan, we've got to be careful. We don't want to go off on a wild goose chase like now. Someone could say, oh, go up there. See? There we go, look. What's that say? Footpath to Canterbury. I've seen loads of them. There we go, one and a half miles. We've done a quarter of a mile since we come up there. One and a half miles. This is called Chiselcombe. Chiselcombe. I'll just take a picture. Hold on. What are we doing? Oh. I mean, it's real Hobbit land. Let's just sit here for a minute. I feel like we're getting there now. We've come out of the big combs. It's getting lighter around the corner. Um, just gonna have another drink of water. Let's put that there a minute. Have a walk around. And this is Sheila. Over here, look. been walking for ten and a half hours. I've been walking at the moment. Ten and a half hours. <sighs> yeah. I'm bright red in the face I spat. But it's still a lovely walk. I have relaxed a bit now because I know I'm going I'm on the way. Like I say half a mile here can take you an hour because of the terrain. It can be bumpy, hilly, um windy, bendy, coomy. So, you know, but it's beautiful, isn't it? Twisting and turning the little tracks. All the people have scurried away since the dormouse shut her door for cake cream teas and tea. People come and they go very quickly, don't they? They come for the nutriment. I mean, people like me that have walked like proper biking, by the time we get to these places, unless you time it, we don't get any treats. You know what I mean? If I said to her, have you got any spare cake? She'd probably look at me horrified. <laughs> I haven't ate my cake yet. I've got a lovely, lovely cake. A lovely muffin I've got. I've got loads and loads of food. I mean, I've got um, those yogurt bars. They're beautiful, they are. 
I had one of them. Today I had a fruit bar. I might have had two yogurt bars actually. I've had an orange. I've still got an apple. I've still got a packet of um, Leicester cheeselets. Leicester flavour cheese. I've got loads of cheese. I've had a big wedge of it en route. Walking. I thought I did. I was walking. I ate that going downhill. I thought I need to get some protein in. Um, but like I said, I didn't really know it was going to be this massive. Um, this to me is like walking from Colbone to Lynmouth. It's a massive walk. To be quite honest, but it's not as hard as the other side. Not really. It's gentle. It's a completely different walk. But like I said, this way is gentle. People have said that to me. If I've done it the right way round. But there again, on, once you get the county gate and you go on the other route, in many ways it's easier. But you've also got two wacky, wacky big hills. And I don't know how that girl was ever going to get those, uh, those army blokes that whizzed by pass them and helped them I mean if they were decent blokes they would they might help them if they were struggling on that hill when those blokes came by young fit men I think they would offer to help them because just to get them up the hill I dread to think how she was going to do it because what put me off myself taking all my kit was the thought of doing that now I have got one awful part of a walk to do on Thursday going to mine head because I've got I'll have all my stuff to carry I haven't bought any souvenirs as such I'm going to look for something for small tomorrow to bring back maybe a cup or a tea towel that's what I normally do I can't come away with nothing, um, but it's got to be light. I mean, I normally get a cup, a cup, a tea towel, some sort of ornament, a book. Now, all that is a lot to carry, and I might have to buy that in my head when I get there. Because I've got a really, really big hike. Um... I get, I get to Porlock and then I'm going to walk to Bosington. I could have got a lift straight there, but no, I, I want to walk that. I want to do that Porlock bit. And then I've got Helston Point to climb. It's not the point so much, it's the, the coombe next to it. Now that is bad going up or down. Look at these lovely flowers, you're going to sleep. Are you going to sleep then? Hey? Eh? You look blue when I look at you in my camera. So that is going to, I am going to struggle with that because I'll have a full bag. And I've got, that's the biggest hill I would have done at all um, since I got here because I, I would mainly going downhill with that. So that's, uh, that's going to take me a long time to do that. And there are quite a few ups and downs, but um, I'm determined to do it. That's going to be my finale, walking the reverse route of the rugged path. Because I'm a nutter. What do they say? Mad, dogless, mad dogs and Englishmen go out in the midday sun. Stop again. Right, carrying on walking through the wood. The sun is high still. Just saying, get a move on, Sheila. Get a move on. I'm staying up for you for a little longer. Then I'm going to suddenly go. You better get a move on.
Oh. Right, one minute. Turn on. We're back on Just a little bloke probably my age, I would have thought. It looked like my age. I can sort of tell now. They're not that much older than me. Um, or younger. He's just... They had a walk with his family. A bit of a swim in the river. Um, he's taking them all down into town. He's walking back to get his car. So, obviously, that was good for him, wasn't it? Somebody's lost something. People are always losing things, aren't they? That would look spooky at night. If you were coming along here in the dark and saw that, you'd think that was a bloody person, wouldn't you? What have we got now? One mile. One mile to go. Yeah? We're doing roughly half an hour to a half mile. I think. We're now allowed to check the time again. One mile. Now, don't, what you've got to remember... Some of the coastal walk, for example, it's like they say, oh, half a mile, and it's absolutely massive, the hills and stuff. So though it's not very far in distance, the actual terrain makes up for the lack in miles. You know what I mean? It's like today, even this walk, on paper, if you do A to B, don't look much. Don't look much. I think it's about nine miles. I'm not sure, coming one way, not the, not including the coast that I did earlier. Don't look a, a lot. Well, what time is that? 1944. Yep, yeah, it's quarter to eight, folks. And when we go around that bend in a minute, we'll be... That's when we just see Lynmouth, that, where that sun is shining, where it's going to set in just over an hour's time. Or hour and longer than that. Actually, I went out for a walk and took pictures of the sunset last night. Do you know what? In one day, and partly as part of today, I used 32 gigabytes, one whole memory card, 32 gigabytes. Uh, I had to swap over. I can't remember where I swapped over. Well, I had to swap over somewhere on the coastal walk and put another memory card in. That's how much video footage I've done. And what's been a bonus for me is I've carried three batteries, charging them up as I go. There's one charging now. Uh, well, I've got another camera. I put the battery in it, charge it up. And... That's, that's better than carrying the charger in your hand, if you see what I mean. You can't, that's what I normally do. If I go out for a small walk, I just take the charger and the, ba uh, the battery charger and the camera. And then when the battery goes flat, I just connect it up to the charger and it charges as we go along. But this is a much better method. In fact, the other camera packing up, it isn't really broken such, it's just that the shutter... The zoom bit won't open. It's still taking pictures and videos if you had it, if you could get it to open. <sighs> so that's what I'm doing. It's a new method I've decided to employ. Um, here we go again, another one. Another sign to Countersbury. It's a very popular place because of the pub. Arnold's Linday. The reason Can Con Countersbury is mentioned is because of the Blue Ball Inn. We still got a mile. We thought we'd been less than that now. Nah. Turn off.